What's up guys, Headphones Neil here, back with another um, TV show review, and in this case it's going to be a quick review of WandaVision Season 1, Episodes 3 and 4. So the reason I'm doing them together is because I feel like Season, or Episode 3 did not have much to review, but Season, or Episode 4 does have a little bit more, or progresses the story a little bit more than 3 did. Um, episode 4 actually feels along the lines of progressing the story of what we saw in the first three episodes. So let's jump right into it. So um, with episode 3 titled Now in Color, we left off with Wanda giving birth to twins and um, oh, hearing um, Geraldine um, say that... Um, or asking kind of to herself but out loud that Pietro, Wanda's brother, was killed by Ultron. So we were kind of left in mystery as to what was going to happen there, um, which actually gets resolved in episode four in that we learn that there's an organization in the real world called S.W.O.R.D. that has been um, maintaining or working on inter intergalactic security. So it kind of feels more of a successor to S.H.I.E.L.D., um, rather than what I kind of read online, which of course could be changed from the comics, but it was kind of as in the comics or from the general MCU lore, Sword and Shield were sister or brother organizations. Whereas in this case, it looks like a, the subsequent, uh, Sword feels like the subsequent organization to Shield. So we'll see how all of that plays out. But uh, Wanda has been living in a um, virtual reality city of sorts which has been her own creation which is kind of what they realize um in the episode so uh we don't know why she's doing this or what's going on maybe it's a happy place for her after um all of the events from avengers endgame so we'll see about that because now that she's definitely lost pietro and she's lost vision this is kind of her way of coming to terms with it or living in a place that no longer makes her sad so even though it's confusing um, this is her world, and for me, speculating a bit, the reason she says no in, I want to say episode two, when she sees the beekeeper, um, is because she feels like, um, someone is coming to take her world away from her, so it is also possible that she's in this world because she chooses to be, and she can no longer harm other people, um, and what we learn in episode four is that she kicked Geraldine out of her dream world and back into the real world. So there must be something going on and it's possible that the whoever's overseeing her dream world it could, could be a part of S.H.I.E.L.D. or she could be in a place where this is a way to maintain control over her mind. So um, overall, episode four is the better of a better episode of the series so far. So we'll kind of see where they take the season from here or how they progress um sword and if they do tie it into shield and how they progress um the story with what's going on in um wanda's mind um and i guess the season is supposed to end with it be with uh wanda vision being a direct tie-in to doctor strange and the multiverse of madness so um it's this or episode four feels like it's a it's working towards that end but from the point of view of sword and potentially what happens with wanda because people are trying to get her out of her mind or because this world is a mind a world of not that's actually not of her creation but it's she's being led to to believe that it is so that's kind of all i wanted to review here um again not really too much to say but this episode kind of progresses what a Presented in the first three episodes with the with the um, dark station in the first episode, the beekeeper in the second episode, and then Geraldine, Geraldine bringing up um, Ultron in the third episode, and why she's there to begin with and why she's generally a bit confused. So that's all there is for this particular review. So if you have any questions, comments, feedback, or anything like that, you can find me on Twitter at PatelN01. The website's PatelN01.com for past episodes, description links, supporting the show, and all of that good stuff. But thanks for tuning in, and until next time.